All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Ready. Ready. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Bugs, and welcome to the very first edition of Ask Bugs. And you might be wondering what Ask Bugs is, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, what it is, I'll be watching the Huddle Discord, looking at comments when people at me and different questions that people might have. And I'm going to take those questions and I am going to turn it into YouTube videos. That way I can answer more of you guys' questions, as well as I'll be taking some of the comments in the videos like this one. Here, I'll be reading those comments and I'll take those questions and it could potentially be on the next video. So on this video, shout out to my guy, Franchise Tag Braun, that asked a great question. He said, is there a good resource for reading coverages and getting better at identifying? He tagged me and all those good things like that. Well, guess what, Franchise Tag Braun? I'm here to answer your question. And this is going to be an absolute masterclass on how to break down coverages and really just pick apart the defense and dissect them like you're in third grade science class. But before we get to that, you guys check out my YouTube channel, Bugs on YouTube, if you want to see some of my gameplay videos where I'll be breaking down different things that I'm seeing in game and different things like that. And we're just going to have a good time, different content that I'll be putting out on my YouTube channel over the next few months and stuff like that. Also, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv backslash Bugatti Bugs. Right now, I'm probably live right now as you're watching this video. So go check out my channel as soon as this video is done. So before we get to all that, I'm going to start off with just the simple basics. A lot of people I know don't even know how to get to practice mode. Um, so you start off by going right to that exhibition thing right there. Go down to practice mode. Make sure you have two controllers. We're going to click normal. Make sure you have two controllers on. That way you can break down defenses. I like to always lab on all Madden, although when you play season stuff like that and weekend league it's all pro however i like to always lab and prepare on all madden because that's what best prepares you for the game of madden all right so we're going to go to seattle playbook and i'm going to pick that and then what playbook are we in denver i'm going to pick a popular playbook i like to pick popular defenses because that's really how you dissect defenses because you're going to notice as we get further into this video that it's the little intricate details that are going to show you how to really pick apart a defense. Um, a lot of people like. I'm just going to pick New England. Let's go with New England. We're going to go with New England. And we're going to go with a couple different formations. But the biggest thing is paying attention to the details. A lot of a lot of times it's paying attention to the safeties. And then it's also paying attention to the cornerbacks because it's the little small, small small details and when i say small these are super small details but if you can pick up on these details it can be the difference between you already setting up a one play touchdown pre-snap or you guessing once the play is already snapped all right so i'm just gonna come out in bunch the play that i come out in doesn't really matter i like to come out in the formation that i like to come out in i run bunch formation so i like to use bunch but these same principles kind of apply to everything and i'll show you that by jumping into a different formation after this but i'm going to start with bunch okay so we're going to start off in just a regular tampa 2 okay we're going to come out in regular tampa 2 i'm gonna move it to a hash to make it a little bit more realistic so what you want to do is when you want to go in practice mode and go into your formation that you like to run and then you want to pay attention to the little small details. So first thing with, with the small details, when you look at cover two, Tampa two, the way that the cornerbacks sit, you see how low these cornerbacks are sitting. They're sitting pretty low. They're probably about four or five yards away from the receiver. The biggest key, the biggest tail is looking at the most outside receiver and how is that cornerback aligning to him? So when you look at cornerback over here, Right here, you see how he's aligned outside of the solo side receiver. Uh, it looks like Sammy Watkins over there. He's aligned outside of him. And then you see how this cornerback here is parallel to him. So that tells you they're in the same exact coverage. That's before they press. Okay, so then you're asking, okay, what about when they press the defense? You see how that cornerback is aligned? How this guy here is aligned. Callahan is aligned outside, a, step, a few steps outside of the receiver. Okay, now when I audible to, let's audible to a different formation or a different coverage. Let's audible to cover two man. 
when you audible to cover two man, you're going to notice that that cornerback aligns inside a few steps inside of the receiver and you'll see it. So these are the details that you want to pay attention to when you come out in your offense. You want to look at that cornerback. I like to look at the solo side receiver. You don't really want to look at the compressed side. So you don't want to look at the bunch side. You look at the solo side because that'll tell you everything you need to know to pick apart the defense. Okay, so when we audible to cover two man, boom. You see how he comes inside of the receiver? Now he's a couple steps inside. That's the biggest difference between cover two man and cover two zone. Okay. Uh, I do not have a cover three in here, uh, but let's show you something else. There's a cover zero in here. Here's, here's how you tell that someone's in cover zero. Come back. You see how low the safety sit? You see how much, how much further that safety is? The other safety is not moving because I touched him. This safety here is not moving because I touched him, but he, otherwise he will be right where this guy is. Simmons is as well. They come they way further down in the box. And also the other tail, you know he's in man because you see that cornerback to the left. You see how far inside he's in. When they're in man, they align inside. Okay. And then, I mean, they may try to get tricky. However, you can tell off rip. So you really have to kind of pay attention to what happened from the moment they came out. They could shade outside. And then now the cornerback's gonna slide outside. However, you know he's in man already because you saw the pre-snap things. Okay. So if he audible to a different coverage and did that, it'll be different. That cornerback is only sliding inside because of a shade instead of a, a zone or a, a change in a play. So, for example, when you look at cover two, you see how when you audible, the guys start to back up and then they have to repress. So that's how you know it's the difference between they, them audibling and them changing the shade or whatever. So that's another little tell right there. So we have that. Then we have, let's go to cover six invert. The cover six inverts and the, the more wacky um, style defenses like cover six inverts and random things like that, those kind of, they kind of change up a little bit. So here's what the cover six invert looks like before it's pressed, okay? So you see how one, this cornerback is slightly inside a little bit. Uh, he's, he's a little bit lower, probably like a step or two lower than this cornerback here. But these are the little subtle tails that you can use to really understand. Sometimes it's something like this cornerback here, this slot cornerback right here, will be aligned uh, a little bit further outside of the slot receiver that will tell you a different coverage. So it's always little things here. So you see how he's kind of aligned all the way inside and stuff like that. And so he's kind of giving you a man look, but he's not really in man, he's in zone. Um, so the first tail would have been the fact that he was so far back to begin with. Because if they were in two man under, he wouldn't have been aligned like that. So and then that's one of those things where you kind of after snap, you see the play and you see the coverage and you say, OK, now I know that he has a coverage in there that kind of disguises things. Most people aren't going to disguise things to that detail. And I'm giving you guys pre this is premium stuff right here. I don't tell people stuff like this. This, I haven't really broken it down this far into this detail. So let's go to something else really quickly. Uh, let's go to cover three. We're going to go to cover three sky. Obviously, the cover three sky, sometimes the, the safety is going to align and show you a cover three look. And that right there is, is this is what we want. We want him. Not, we don't want the safety to, to show cover three. We want it to be like this to where it's, you kind of have to show and, and find out by looking. So what's the tail? One, you see how. The cornerback is aligned directly over the top of the receiver. Slightly stepped inside. You see how he's slightly inside of him, but he's not as far inside as two man under would be. So let's go to two man under. You see how two man under, he's that's how far he is inside. But when you go to cover three, one, I don't know why this does this when I reset the play. Anyway, uh, let me flip the play. Anyway, when we look at cover three before it's pressed, this is how it's aligned. You see, it's kind of aligned, kind of similar to cover six, cover six alignment. However, when they press it, he's directly over the top of the receiver versus being inside of him as if he was in man coverage. So that's that's the tail between cover three and cover six invert. OK. Um, and then, like I said, if they go cover two, he aligns outside. Even look at that middle linebacker. Even that's a subtle tail. You see how that middle that middle linebacker here moved inside some when it is in cover two 
versus cover three. So it's the little things like that. Yeah, like that right there is obvious cover two. But yeah, you see right here. All right, I'm messing up the audibles. Anyway, when you look at that linebacker there, then you audible to cover two, he steps inside. He's directly over the defensive tackle. So it's little tales like that that will tell you the whole story that you really need to know when you're playing against a defense. And so the first thing you should be looking at is, okay, how many... What does the safeties look like? Okay, then you see what the safeties look like. Then you look to the cornerbacks and see the little tails. Now I'm going to go to a different formation just so that I can show you guys what it will look like. And cover four is really, it's kind of similar. I'm going to go to cover four really quickly and then go to bunch. I want to make this video as fast as possible. But at the same time, this is this is so important and so critical that I'm, I might not stop, stop the video because it's too important. Okay, so cover four. You see how one... This cornerback here is aligned far outside of the receivers. That's one. Two, it's that cornerback on the left side here, he's aligned directly like uh, probably a half a yard, no, exactly a yard over the receiver. So, like, he's a yard deeper than this guy here, okay? Then when you press the defense, this is what it looks like. Okay, he's directly over the top, and that's the that's the tail right there. He's directly over the top, but slightly stepped inside. Those thirds and those quarters kind of stand over the top, but slightly inside. Not not all the way inside like man coverage. So that's how you know cover three or cover four or cover six and stuff like that. Um, but the biggest tail, oh man, is that cornerback. Here being aligned outside of the defense and their cover four zones are aligned a little bit deeper than a cover two so like if i go cover two you see how they drop down i i don't have cover three in here however i go cover two they drop down they're a little bit lower a little bit closer to the receivers when you go cover four those guys are backed up and they play a little bit further back before they're pressed. And so you can see it immediately. Those are the things you want to kind of look at and glance at immediately. As soon as you come out to the line of scrimmage, you want to be looking at those guys and not your guys. Because those guys are going to tell you what you then need to expose on the defense. So then I'll go to a different formation. Let's just go to a different formation. Um, and unless you run like a super compressed set, like a bunch tight end and, or a, a tight or tight flex and stuff like that where you don't have any receivers out wide that's when it becomes a little bit tougher there are still tails but you just have to go to practice mode and go out here and pick every single coverage against popular defenses that you'll probably go against and look at the defense and see what are the little tails but this is how you do it really you want to look at those cornerbacks and how they're aligning over receivers see cover four same thing you see how they're aligning over those receivers the safeties they sit back a little bit deeper same thing. When they're a man, it's always going to be hat on hat on hat. All right. The linebacker is always going to, if it's a nickel, the linebacker is always going to take the tight end. Unless you've got like a weird formation that kind of glitches out the, the way the coverage aligns. And the slot receiver, the slot corner is always going to take the slot receiver. But you see how far they're aligned inside. And when we go cover two, same thing. You see how they're aligned to the outside. So those are just the little tails to really pick in the part of defense. I encourage you to go in practice mode right now. Test this thing out. Go in your formation that you love to run. Lab it up. Really look at those little subtle details. Little subtle details and how they work. And that's really the biggest thing right there. So once again, you look at cover zero. The, the safeties align a little bit lower. You look at the cornerbacks, they're still aligned to the inside of the receiver. Same thing with the, the cover six. See how they, they give kind of that cover three, cover four look almost. But you see when they come down, you know it's not man because you see how this cornerback is aligned. He's not aligned in a man coverage look. But this guy is that tells you that they're probably in something cute or creative 
And so that tells you if you know that this is how cover six invert aligns against your defense or your offense, then that tells you that the guy that's aligned furthest to the inside is in cover six. He's in the invert. And if I see this guy, if I know that they're in a press invert like that, you might want to test out putting that X receiver on a streak because a pressed invert doesn't typically play streaks pretty good because they play to the inside and you can really kind of bomb them over the top. But that's it, man. Y'all go in practice mode. Lap this up. Practice it as much as you can. Try to really pick apart these defenses. I appreciate you guys and your time. My name is Bugs, like I said, and we're going to be answering a whole lot more questions and making you guys better at the John each and every week.